Yo, what is going on guys? It is Dose of Tech here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your CPU performance. So let's start out by enabling all your CPU cores. So in order to do that, you have to press the Windows and R button and then go to MS config and then press OK. You, you should uh, run into this window right here. Go to boot and then advanced options make sure number of processors are che is checked and click this uh, drop bar and click the highest amount of uh, cores you can enable so for me it's 8 I have a i7 uh, Intel i7 processor so that's usually how it is for me and yeah and then after you're done doing that press OK apply and OK and then you guys will have to restart your computer to save this so just press the restart button I don't have to restart it because I already have it enabled so once you guys have restarted your computer you have to download this um, easy to easy to use uh, software called quick CPU the link is in the description uh, this is gonna be the link right here just scroll all the way down until you see the download button right over here so press download quick cpu just click that the zip file and then click x64 because that's what the newest uh um so windows 10 software is so it's 64 bit usually and then click on the setup and just set up the application so once you have this application set up make sure to run it as administrator so in, in order to do that type in quick CPU right click it and press run as administrator and it should pop up it, it should pop up uh, with just like a random pop-up screen and just say yes because uh, they'll give it permission to change your CPU settings so you should have it loaded up like this uh, click go to system power plan and make sure to click on ultimate performance Windows is usually set to balance performance, but um, since you're gaming you want the best performance as possible So just click ultimate performance Then go to core parking index and click just slide up all the way to 100% Usually it might be at 41% but um, since we're, we're trying to optimize for gaming just go to 100% and do the same thing for turbo boost index and frequency scaling so once you're done with this just press apply and it should say changes saved su successfully applied and yeah so now you should see the changes if you go to task manager and then go to performance and you should see your CPU should be running at a much higher frequency than it was before so without the overclocking or improved Im improvement in performance you should you were running at your base speed and now you should be running at your uh, higher level which should be above like four gigahertz or something and yeah so that's all for today guys